Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the comparison between Redmi Note 3 and Coolpad Note 3. So guys, these are the two devices in front of me and on the left we have the Redmi Note 3 which is actually a 16 GB version in grey color. And this is the Coolpad Note 3 on the right which is in grey color. So guys, as the Redmi Note 3 on the left is a 16 GB variant, it is priced at 10,000 rupees and is being sold on Amazon.in. And the Coolpad Note 3 on the right is being sold at 9,000 rupees on Amazon.in. So guys, let's start off with the comparison. Coming to the build quality of both these devices, both feel pretty solid in the hand, but Redmi Note 3 is completely made up of metal and gives you a much premium feel. But because of this smooth metal finish, Redmi Note 3 is actually very slippery. But whereas we consider the Coolpad Note 3, it has this nice matte texture, which is very comfortable to hold and the grip feels very solid. And coming to the thickness of both these devices, Redmi Note 3 feels as if it is slightly slimmer than the Coolpad Note 3. This is how both the devices look from the back and both have a very similar design. They have the circular camera followed by the fingerprint scanner and both devices have speaker grills at the bottom. And additionally on the Coolpad Note 3 you get an infrared sensor and that's pretty much the difference between both the devices. On both the devices you get all the basic sensors including gyroscope. So guys coming to the display both the devices have a 5.5 inch display but on the Redmi Note 3 you get a Full HD display whereas on Coolpad Note 3 you just get a HD display. So because of that you might find the Coolpad Note 3 slightly pixelated than the Redmi Note 3. But for an average user you won't really notice the difference between a HD display and a Full HD display. You might notice the difference between the screen resolutions while watching VR content or YouTube 360 degree videos using the Google Cardboard or a VR headset. Because while you are using these devices in the VR mode you place the device very close to your eye and because of the lack of resolution on Coolpad Note 3, you can definitely notice pixels on the Coolpad Note 3. And this is how both the displays looks. So guys to compare the display of both the devices, I'm just gonna play the same video on both the devices at the same time. The display of Redmi Note 3 is obviously way sharper than the Coolpad Note 3 but when it comes to the color reproduction, the video on Coolpad Note 3 looks more realistic whereas the Redmi Note 3 has slightly vivid colors. So on the whole both displays are pretty good and you won't really notice much of a difference between them. So guys coming to the camera performance on the Redmi Note 3 we have a 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and face detection autofocus. Whereas on Coolpad Note 3 we have a 13 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and on the front we have a 5 megapixel camera on both these devices. Out of the box, it definitely looks like the Coolpad Note 3 camera is way better than Redmi Note 3 
but that's only because we are watching a bigger picture in a smaller resolution screen. On close inspection, we can definitely find that Redmi Note 3's camera is way better than Coolpad Note 3. So guys, coming to the performance of these devices, the Redmi Note 3 has a Snapdragon 650 processor, which is an hex-core processor with four Cortex A53 cores and two Cortex A72 cores with 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage for the 10,000 rupees variant and 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB internal storage for the 12,000 variant. The Coolpan Note 3 on the other hand has only one variant with just two different colors. It comes with an octa-core MediaTek processor with eight Cortex A53 cores. These are the benchmark scores of Redmi Note 3 and Coolpan Note 3. These are the Android benchmark scores. These are the Geekbench single core and multi core scores. So as you can see in terms of benchmark performance, Redmi Note 3 is way ahead than Coolpad Note 3. But in our speed test, I have found that Coolpad Note 3 is faster than Redmi Note 3. That's probably because I have compared it with a 2GB version of Redmi Note 3. But Coolpad Note 3 is faster and much better in terms of RAM management. In terms of software, Redmi Note 3 comes with something called as MIUI 7 on top of Android 5.1.1. And the Coolpan Note 3 runs on Cool OS on top of Android 5.1. Both the devices are very heavily skinned version of Android and like any other Chinese manufacturer or Chinese device, these two devices don't have any app drawer. But that's not a big deal because we can always change the home launcher. Besides the home launcher and the basic operating system, both the devices have their own unique features. But on the whole, MIUI has way more features than the Coolpan Note 3. MIUI offers a great deal of customization with their themes, battery optimization features. Whereas the Coolpan Note 3 offers its own set of features like basic themes, screen off gestures like double tap to wake. We also have fingerprint gestures. So guys, on the whole, MIUI 7 or the Redmi Note 3 is more feature rich in terms of software. Whereas the Coolpan Note 3 is feature rich in its own terms with things like screen gestures and fingerprint gestures. So guys coming to the fingerprint scanner on the back, both devices do a very good job but Redmi Note 3 does way better. It unlocks the device in less than a second every time. Whereas Coolpan Note 3 isn't as perfect as Redmi Note 3. But as of now, we cannot lock applications using the fingerprint scanner on the Redmi Note 3. Whereas on Coolpad Note 3, we can do that. It's just a software feature and it is definitely expected in the future update on Redmi Note. Additionally, on the Redmi Note 3, we get this infrared sensor using which we can control any device with an infrared sensor. So that's something we'll definitely miss on Coolpad Note 3. So guys, coming to the battery performance, we have a 4000 mAh non-removable battery on Redmi Note 3 and a 3000 mAh battery on Coolpad Note 3. Both devices get charged in less than two hours and in terms of screen on time and battery life, Redmi Note 3 wins again. You can definitely get about 6 hours or 7 hours of screen on time on heavy usage. On normal usage, you might even get 2 days of battery life on Redmi Note 3. Whereas on Coolpad Note 3, you get about 4 to 5 hours of screen on time at max. And coming to the SIM card guys, on the Redmi Note 3, you can either use 2 SIMs or a micro SIM and a micro SD card. Whereas on the Coolpad Note 3, you can use 2 SIMs along with the micro SD card. So that's pretty much it about the comparison guys. If you are in the market to buy a phone for less than 10,000 rupees, then Coolpan Note 3 and Redmi Note 3 are definitely your best picks. But each device has its own pros and cons. Right out of the box, if you are considering only the phone under 10,000 rupees, then Coolpan Note 3 might be a better choice because it has 3 GB of RAM and a better RAM management. But if you look at the long run, Redmi Note 3 will be the best choice because you will get the latest updates at least up to 2 to 3 years. I am not sure about the future updates in terms of Coolpan Note 3. And besides that, we have something called as MI Protect which is an insurance policy by Xiaomi for their Xiaomi devices and that's really a game changer. For just a price of 400 rupees, you get insurance for your phone and no matter what happens to it, you break it, you drop it, you even sit on it, the insurance will cover the damages, you will get a brand new phone or you can get the device fixed with no extra charges. So that's something you'll definitely miss on the Coolpan Note 3. And if you're considering to buy the Redmi Note 3, I would definitely suggest you to buy the 32GB variant because it has 3GB of RAM and in the long run, that 3GB of RAM will do you a great benefit. So guys, if you have any concerns or if you have any suggestions, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.